I honestly think it's really important to show everyday people just how amazing and beautiful they are just as themselves and nothing more. Welcome friends, it's Kaylee Bird and today I'd like to share with you why choosing the models that I do is so important to my mission as an artist, highlighting the beauty of everyday people. If you're new to my channel, you may not know this, but almost all of the models I use for my oil paintings are people that I know either in real life or have befriended through social media. And I do this for a few reasons. For the first reason, I think that normal, everyday, regular people genuinely are way more beautiful and exceptional and unique and interesting than a lot of quote unquote like supermodels or you know, whatever's supposed to be some idealized heightened version of beauty. I mean, yes, I'm not gonna complain about beautiful women and, and put anyone down, but honestly, I get tired of the same symmetric, perfect, high cheekbone, pointed nose, perfect chin, all this kind of stuff. It's just boring to me, it's not interesting. I love people that are natural. I love seeing the journeys that they've taken and their little personal expressions and the way their eyes light up. To me, human beings as they are, are interesting, not perfect everything that looks like a walking filter. I just feel that in this world of racism, colorism, body shaming, and disproportion of representation in the media, the last place that we should be emphasizing unrealistic and basically boring beauty standards is in our personal artwork. I don't want to put anyone down who does choose to paint and draw quote unquote traditionally beautiful women all day long. But for me, it just, those faces, usually they just don't seem to tell a story. The eyes just, I don't know. I don't feel like there's any thought behind them. Like, I just think that it's really, it's just important to use people with actual brains and thoughts and expressions and emotions behind them if you want actual personality to come out in your artwork. If you're okay with just making something for the sake of making something that's pretty, well then I guess that's fine. But honestly, if you want there to be depth in your painting, then I feel like using a real model with depth and personality is what's gonna bring it to that next level. At least that's what I've found. Another reason why it's really important in my specific artistic journey to use people that I know as models, I've kind of summed up in my artist statement. I'm gonna quote a little bit of it for you, but basically I believe the message of inclusion and body positivity for all the unique men and women of this modern world is an important stepping stone for self acceptance and love. From many interactions I've experienced over the years, I've noticed that once a self-love is achieved, it spirals outward, forming into social acceptance and a universal love which radiates from such empowered folks into an ever-expanding cycle of each of us bringing up the other. Simply put, loved people are loving. My works celebrate the natural and perfect imperfectness of all of us and hopes to be a catalyst for a world which exchanges love exponentially. So basically what I'm trying to say is like, if you make other people feel good and feel good about themselves, then those people are going to want to go out and make other people feel good and good about themselves. And then those people are going to want to make other people feel good and good about themselves. And I know maybe that can seem like a really small minuscule drop in the bucket, but honestly, some of the models, well, just about all of the models, friends, people that I've used for my paintings, they write me these, you know, thank you notes or whatever. And they're just like, I can't believe like you make me feel so good. I've never felt so beautiful or I've never been, you know, so humbled and so excited. Like, I can't believe you chose me for a model. Thank you. You know, you just, you, you really like, you made my week, you know, you made my year, you know, whatever. And I'm not trying to like toot my own horn, but I love that. Like that is, you know, I think that these people are beautiful regardless, but the fact that I can make them feel so, so good means that they're going to walk around with their head a little higher. And guess what? The next person down the road, they're going to want them to feel as good as they do. And so maybe they're going to give an extra compliment or give an extra big smile. Like 
positivity radiates and I am literally trying to start like a puddle drop of radiation spiraling outward from my art affecting as much of the world as possible. I know that might be a little lofty, but you know, a girl can dream. And the beauty of it is that once I truly started seeing just everyday people around me as the incredible, unique, beautiful, you know, creatures that they were, my world exploded with models, you know, like so many of my friends are just so honored and excited when I ask them, you know, hey, can I take your photos and, and paint, you know, paint, put you in one of my paintings? Or conversely, like over the last couple of years, I've met really a lot of amazing women through social media, like other artists, creatives, musicians, that kind of thing. And, you know, we follow each other, encourage each other, you know, you know, cheerlead each other's journeys. And after a while, I'm like, hey, you're like this amazing person. You mind taking some photos for me? Because I would love to paint you. And so it's like, you know, I have no shortage of models of incredible people that I want to feature. I mean, if anything, there's not enough hours in the day rather than not enough models to paint. I mean, there's just so many wonderful, amazing, incredible people around me, around all of us. And if I can use my gift of painting to highlight some of their amazingness, then again, it just becomes this cycle of, you know, uplifting each other and feeling good. So there's just something really wonderful about using everyday people, just using your friends, using regular people as models. I mean, it's such a powerfully positive experience all around. I, I honestly couldn't see any other way. In particular, this model, her name is Vidina Rose, and we've been following each other on Instagram for maybe two years or something now. She's an amazing singer. I think she's from uh, Britain, but she's moved a few places in the world, and so it's kind of hard to keep up, but she's this incredible street performing singer. She's kind of like, almost like a, has this sort of pirate persona, um, and she's just a really enigmatic and amazing and creative person. and. You know, after we followed each other for a while, I was like, hey, you're like lovely in every single way. You mind snapping a few photos for me? And she did. She um, got these photos, I think, under a palm or something. And so here I am painting her, doing a little collaboration with Vadina Rose. I wish I was able to play some of her uh, music for you in today's video, but with algorithm and copywriting and stuff, I was a little bit nervous using it. So I opted out, but you should definitely check out links below because I've got her all linked up and you can hear Hear her awesome album. I really appreciate the song Warrior more than anything else because I think Vidina is definitely a warrior. So definitely check out her music below. So in the original photograph, Vidina has a large gold arm cuff and she's wearing these impressive huge onk earrings. So I decided to stick with the ancient Egyptian feel and replace the post she was holding in the photo with a scepter from ancient Egyptian art. You'll see that coming in in just a second in gold leaf. But I wanted to tell you a little bit about this scepter. It is called a Waz scepter and it is a symbol of divinity and strength normally seen in um, you know ancient Egyptian art that we've found on tombs and things like that. It's also symbolically a shepherd's staff showing that a good leader protects their people above all else. So in that same thread I decided to name this painting Isis of the Wildflowers because Isis was the most powerful Egyptian goddess. She was revered as a protector of the kingdom. And in a few minutes, you will definitely see why she would be Isis of the wildflowers in this particular painting. 
So you'll have to excuse my gold leafing because I only recorded this as an Instagram reel, but it makes me want to ask you guys, are you on TikTok? Do you find any kind of level of success with people looking at your artwork? If so, I've been kind of toying with the idea of getting on it because I've been enjoying making more of these short videos, but you know, time is precious and I only want to get on another social media platform if it's actually going to be beneficial to my career as an artist. So drop me a comment down below and let me know if you've been on TikTok and if you think I should get on it too. How much do you love it? And now we've got the most fun, but also the most scary part of the whole process, laying in all of my lovely little objects and plants and mixing the resin. There is no turning back once that resin gets poured. You just gotta cross your fingers and hope for the best. I hope you've enjoyed my Isis of the Wildflowers coming to life today. Check out this playlist if you'd like to see some of my other 3D oil paintings. And make sure you pop that subscribe button, ding the bell, and come back every other week for all the best fine art tutorials and art biz advice.